Hello! Um, I'm filming a few of these, so excuse the same outfit. <laughs> I just thought it'd be easier to do it this way. Welcome to day two of becoming a woman. A pilgrimage that started in Paris. What a life I lead. I am sure it's the same for everyone, but sometimes you feel like can I have fun for a long period of time without some big crisis happening all the time, God? David had been going to counseling and things were great for about two weeks. This is his pattern. Then one day he just reverted back to the old David again. I was so exhausted from teaching and tutoring and then teaching piano with the house still not being finished that I just had a breakdown. I told David that I didn't know if I wanted to be married, that I just wanted to go to France, that I wanted to date other guys. I just wanted out of my life. He thought we should both go to counseling and so we went. And after the session, we had a massive argument over, get, get this, a potato. <laughs> I told him, I was okay to go home and make something quick, like a baked potato. He said, no, I don't want to have to clean up. Let's get fast food. I say, you can get something. Go ahead. I'll just wait. I'm going to have my potato at home. He kept badgering me saying, no, Aaron, let's get fast food. Finally, I looked at him and I said, I'm okay with this. I'll have a potato. Just get what you want. And he then accused me of being controlling of the conversation. What? I said, David, you are telling me what I can and cannot have. Just get yourself some fast food and let's be done with this. Again, he insisted. Now I'm going psycho. I'm going psycho. I'm, I'm tired. I'm hungry. I just screamed, David, this is about a potato. He said, why can't you just compromise? And I said, I thought I was compromising. This was ridiculous. I'm going to tell the counselor about this at our next session. I can't take this anymore. I bet Matt, the vice principal, would never treat his girlfriend this way. Tomorrow, we're going to our friend's house to play games. Oh, that should be fun. I just really want to feel like life can be happy and fun again. Please, God. I don't know how much longer I can take of this. Now, this is a very short entry, but this was like a pivotal moment. This was another tipping point for me. So I'm just going to make some commentary. When it starts getting ridiculous, ridiculous as to what things you're arguing about, a potato, <laughs> I still feel, I can sit, we were sitting in a car and I was sitting here and, and he was sitting there. And I was like incredulous. This is not what I want for my life. Now, let me tell you something that I get now, okay? There are always two to play in a relationship. So I am never just blaming my partner because what I have learned over time is communication skills. And I was so, like after this counseling session, session, I was really trying to communicate. Normally, I come from a family that I didn't, I saw a lot of talking, and but it was arguing talking. I never, I never learned how to communicate. So I learned how to yell. I learned how to just get really frustrated and like yell. And so that was my pattern. I didn't know how to express from my heart, from a calm, divine space of sharing with another human being that this is not okay with me. I need to be able to make certain choices in my life. And the fact that you're making a big deal about this is just not okay with me. And I want to respect that you want what you want to eat and that's okay. But you've got to respect that I want that. I need to feel that from you. 
I never knew how to communicate like that. It just always turned out to be a huge, huge argument. Now in this case, I was really trying, but let me share with you that when you know you're arguing about things that are like completely ridiculous, it's gotten to a point when you do need help and we did go to a counselor, but um, well, the next post might bring up a lot of emotions for me. So whew, there's uh, when you see things getting out of control, see the signs. And I'll leave this post at that. We'll see you tomorrow.